Cowboy Jim, uh, what a joy to be here. And uh, I just got the last uh, little tiny bit of uh, Biden's comic relief that uh, is uh, address the nation, address the world. Yeah, he put his uh, economic sanctions into place and yeah, he said, we'll uh, watch this for a month, month and a half, and just see what these sanctions will do. Children, families, men, women, children will be laying dead in the streets not not in a month and a half last night this morning this evening tomorrow morning blood on the asphalt blood spilled from people's bodies. The Ukrainian people, all they wanted was to be free. Stand against tyranny, dictatorial attitudes. You and I, we're blessed. We're a uh, we live in a country with an impotent leader. So many of our companies are owned by China already. We're not where Putin wants to go, if we were, trust me. It'd be our blood being spilt on the streets instead of Ukrainian people's blood. Is there a difference in color? No. Is there a difference between Ukrainian people and Canadian people? No, not much. Oh, Canadians, Irish, Scottish, well, and everything else. <laughs> I mean, we're a, we're a, a melding pot of the world's people who sought for freedom and thus came to Canada. I, I actually have a lot of Ukrainian friends. Jeez, I really like their cooking. They cook stuff I, they, they, they have names for it. Oh, I, I don't have a clue. But you know, if you can look past a rough facade, a rough exterior, and you look into a man, a woman's eyes, past what appears to be on the surface, you will see into their hearts. You'll see their desires, their joys, their goals, their aims. And we're all alike if we choose to believe in something bigger than ourselves, if we choose 
to believe that another person, different denominationally, religiously, belief system wise, but that they have the same right to life that we do. If you can get to that place, then you can pray for them because children, <laughs> children, the world leader has spoken. Will I? I hold the United States of America in the deepest of respect, as I do the Canadian people, blue collar workers mostly. I hold them in the deepest of respect. I hold most politicians in the deepest of disrespect. Sorry, that's the way it is. Biden and his family, they got what they could out of the Ukraine. They got what they could out of China, but that door's still open, that portal is still open. Yeah. Biden, we're putting all these sanctions together. And let's take a look at it in a month, month and a half. See how they're holding up. I don't want to go to war with Soviet Russia. I don't want to go to war Chinese Communist Party, China. Not in favor of war. My ancestors fought in every war. The one thing that my uncle told me, he taught me, there are only two people in the world who have the audacity to call me Jimmy. And uh, they earned the right to call me Jimmy. That was my mom. She taught me about God, honor, respect. She taught me care for women who hurt, children who hurt. She taught me what I will never forget. And my uncle Jim Marshall, Northern Ireland, when he was 13, he was shot, I think in the arm, uh, in the Troubles. The Troubles in Ireland have been between Catholic, Protestant, and uh, <laughs> the resultant starvation, persecution, from a very high upper class. And the thing that I remember most about my mom, she taught me to care. And the thing that I remember most about my Irish Uncle Jim, who put a double barrel 12 gauge in my hand, he said, get down on your knees and uh, I tried just to pull one trigger at a time, and I was five. He said, uh, I'll only put one bullet in there, one shotgun shell, because it's going to knock you over. He said, uh, hold that up real tight to your shoulder, pull the trigger. Canadians, people of the world, You may not be five years old, I want you to know something. There will be children in the Ukraine who are five years old. 
And they're not getting knocked over by a shotgun. They're getting killed. And the dictators in the world, they don't give a rat's ass. You should care. I pulled that uh, 12 gauge double barrel shotgun that had hammers on it, it was so old. I snugged it up to my shoulder, I was five. I pulled the trigger <laughs> and I, I, uh, I, I kept hold of the gun. But all I could see was the blue sky because I was flat on my back. Listen. You care for people. It doesn't matter what color they are. It doesn't matter what belief system they have. You care for people. You in your privacy of your own home, you get down on your knees and you pray for people. Pray that God touches their hearts. People have picked on God for years because he extended free choice to people. Had to. Otherwise, they would be nothing but robots. But as a people, we all have been pretty hard on God. He wanted to give you a chance to uh, choose between him, he, his son, and evil. And you can see evil pretty clearly. Evil is what uh, kills indiscriminately. Evil is uh, blackface. Won't even, doesn't care enough to even talk to the people involved in the Canadian protest. Children, choose whom you will serve. And serve them. Good, evil, doesn't make a difference to me. What the hell? Not to me, because there's a scripture, it says it is appointed unto each individual to work out their own salvation in fear and trembling before God. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. Jesus said, there's no other name given unto man whereby ye must be saved. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish but have everlasting life. It's all up to you. You care. You care about baby children in the Ukraine. Oh, well, Biden doesn't give a rat's ass now. He's got, he and his family, they are well paid. Hey, they're moving on. It's, I don't want to go to war in the Ukraine because the creator has a, an agenda. I don't know if this is going to happen soon, but you think uh, Putin's going to curtail his encroachment on other countries. Why? Because Biden said so. You want to follow a pussy? Well, come live in Canada. Or the United States. I mean, that's all we have for leaders in Canada. Biden in the States. Pussy, Trudeau, blackface, hypocrite, racist. His hero is the Communist Chinese Party. Listen, children. 
pray. 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 God bless Canada. God bless the people of the Ukraine. Protect those baby children. Protect those people who have enough guts to stand up and lay their lives down for their country. Sounds an awful lot like blue collar truckers in Canada. Scripture says we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities in high places. In Canada, we only wrestle, wrestle against uh, hypocrisy, wealth, entitlement, racism, every other ism in the world that Trudeau called the Canadian truckers, freedom convoy. when he himself exemplifies everything that we as Canadians stand against. Pray for Ukraine, pray for the people, pray for the next country who's going to be taken over. And they will be, there's no doubt. Putin has no opposition and he has a game plan. God bless.